Many of us suffer from symptoms of chronic sinusitis every day, but Dr. Pargett tells us it's actually easy to treat. He joins us on today's Medical Montana. Dr. Pargett, we've talked about how common symptoms of sinusitis and chronic sinusitis are. What are the first steps to treating these issues? Well, uh, most people are going to see their family physician or a primary care provider first, and they often will be placed on antibiotics. But in about 50% of people, those medicines don't help. At that time, often they will be referred to a specialist, and that's where I come in. So when someone comes to my office, they'll meet my staff. We may ask them to take a sinus assessment survey to see what their symptoms are, and then we listen. I'd like to sit down with people and hear them tell me about their sinus problems. How long have they had them? What kind of experience have they had? Things like being tired and not feeling well, not wanting to participate in daily activities. Those are all things that are very common and can be very distressing to people. So after I've taken the time to listen to what they have to say, then typically I'm going to do an examination. And that involves looking in their nose and in their ears and their throat, a complete examination of the head and neck, and then we'll talk about treatment options. Oftentimes for people, they need to be on medication for an extended period of time, much more than a family doctor might use, so I will put them on long-term medication. And then we often will get an x-ray of their sinuses to find out why this has been going on for so long. Then once we see what's going on on the x-ray, some of these people, if they're one of the 50% that don't respond, they may be a candidate for a sinus procedure. And one of the things I'm very excited about is I can offer some new technologies for the people of Helena. And that's a minimally invasive surgery, correct? Right. Um, I'm actually the first uh, ear, nose, and throat doctor in the state to be certified to do this procedure in the office, and I've been doing it for several years. The procedure's been around for a while, but I, I looked at it pretty critically before deciding it was something I wanted to offer to people, and I really think it's been a, a great um, addition to my practice. Has there been a lot of success stories? Yes, there's a lot of uh, people that get much better. It has a great success rate. Um, and the nice thing is people can have a procedure done in the office under local anesthesia and can uh, resume normal activities within a day or two. And they don't have to be sedated? No, we just do it under a local anesthesia. We always offer the option of people being able to have some sedation or a little anesthesia if they're nervous about it, but most people tolerate it very, very well. All right, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.